If you're new to the channel, you probably don't know that I'm a big basketball fan. Like, of all the sports that ever sported, basketball is my favorite. Uh, well, there is that one sport in Japan where they, uh, to put it simply, smash into each other in order to knock over a flag. <laughs> oh, look at them go. Anyway, thanks to that one thing that will instantly get me demonetized and maybe a strike somehow if YouTube is feeling spicy, the NBA season along with just about every other sport got suspended, and I'm straight up not having a good time. Luckily, there's a really, really good NBA simulation game that is not only pretty complex, but completely free. And when I say free, I mean it. And there's nothing gated by a premium version. So here's a look at Basketball GM, a game to play while we wait for the season to start back up and to play way past that. Like I said, Basketball GM is a simulation game, so you shouldn't expect NBA 2K the free version. Uh, wait, that could have been a that could have been a good joke. Uh, it'll come to me, I promise. There's no gameplay for the actual games. The closest you'll get is a play-by-play -play of the game of your choosing. It's kind of like doing SimCast in my league or my GM, which I just don't see why anyone would do when you could just do the faster sim, and if you want it slower, you might as well do CPU versus CPU and hope your AI doesn't endlessly try to throw up contested long twos. But if you want that kind of gameplay, you might as well get 2K, or maybe freestyle through and three. What Basketball GM offers is a game where you have full control of a basketball team as a GM. You handle the scouting, the trading, uh, finances, and even how much playing time people get, which I keep forgetting about unless I'm doing a mean Sam Hanky impression of being the tank commander I knew I could be. And it is immensely satisfying to succeed, whether that be winning in the finals, uh, getting the first round pick, making space in your cap to make splashes in free agency, somehow having your borderline transcendent player want to stay on the team, and the list goes on. But the biggest thing for me is when my gambles pay off and I have players increase their overall, which might be because I'm a monkey and my monkey brain fires off endorphins when I see numbers go up. I guess I'll start there. Each player has a series of stats that determine their overall and there are some hidden stats, though I'm not sure what those things determine. Uh, maybe potential? I'm talking the things like IQ, age, and maybe height, but don't quote me on any of that. Usually you try to go for higher potentials because obviously they have a good chance of getting to that potential, even if it takes a couple of years. And of course, they might not reach their potential, aka be a bust that shatters your hopes. And there's a chance that a low potential player becomes next LeBron. That way, nothing is ever a sure thing and you should never get complacent. And for reference, a mid to high 70-ish is like having a LeBron, and an 80 or up is basically the undisputed best to ever do it. Not even Skip or Shannon will be able to say anything to the contrary. Okay, but I've been jumping around a lot, and before I keep doing that, I should talk about the standard gameplay loop. Well, if you're not using God Mode stuff, of course, because that's a whole other thing. In Basketball GM, the idea is that you have to keep making money and be successful so that you don't get your ass fired by the owner. At the end of the season, you'll know how you're doing because you get an in-game email with how the owner feels and a graph that essentially tells you how close you are to having to restart. So how do you go about staying in this coveted position? Well, let's start at the beginning of the season. You gotta assess your place in the league. You get a randomly generated team and you gotta ask yourself some questions. Are you competing? Maybe you wanna trade your picks away to get that final piece you need and take advantage of the people that wanna see you win by jacking up ticket prices. Or if you're rebuilding, you could try to get some picks, hope that you get a pick from someone who gets ravaged by injuries and boom, now you have two great picks. Oh, and please lower the operational facilities because you will not be making enough money if you're somewhere in like Colorado and your team is the laughing stock of the league. Uh, you'll be laughing soon enough when you get multiple first rounders and they pan out. Don't worry, you can remain the laughing stock. Uh, that's cool. And still, you could be in a high profile place like New York and then you could be trash and still jack up the ticket prices. Uh, go nuts, put four forwards in your lineup and see what happens. And the list goes on, but there are a lot of factors to be aware of, not only for your team, but for other teams. And part of the fun is making a plan of attack for the season. Also, if you don't want to use random players, people have made league files where it's the current season. You can even import draft classes, uh, maybe. Hit the subreddit up and you'll find a lot. As for the actual seasons, you go through your games and hope for the best, uh, whatever that means for you. Personally, I step a month at a time and see how things are turning out. Like if someone is underperforming, I might just trade them if needed or just let things keep going. I also take this time to start looking at stats because Basketball GM is all about the stats. Whatever you want, you got it. Look at the screen now and you'll see what I'm talking about because I know people like to put videos on in the background. My favorite stuff to look at are the individual player achievements, uh, stuff like hitting the game winner on someone or getting career highs among other things. Then there's the all-star game and you can even draft a team if you like that stuff. Going past that, you get to the playoffs, and if you're actually in the playoffs, then it's extremely exciting and this is where the best stories are made. I play basketball GM a lot with my friends, uh, more on that later. 
and there were things that happened that we still talk about. There was a time where I was playing my brother in a series and just when I thought I was going to lose it all, his two best players got injured and I rolled that high to the finals. See, his team was in B-more, uh, Baltimore, and we kept joking that his players were going to get ganked down there, and what do you know? It didn't happen. <laughs> Nowadays, we joke that I hired some goons to put a hit out on him, <laughs> straight up Tanya Harding them. And then there was a time where my friend finally made it to the finals, only to lose to a buzzer beater in Game 7. <laughs> it's so rare, I don't even have any footage of it. <laughs> to keep long story short, memories are made in the playoffs. And then we have the faded off season, uh, kind of like what we're in right now. If you didn't make the playoffs, uh, this is your playoffs. You got the draft lottery where God and Powerful Prayer are your best chances to get the first pick. Uh, the actual draft where you see if you have a good eye for talent and free agency, which is like a second draft if you got the money for it. And once that's done, you start anew, but not before you see the new ratings for your players. And really, this is all surface level stuff. There's a lot here and it's so crazy that it's all free. There's achievements to get a little extra out of the game if you want to challenge yourself. Uh, God mode is there if you don't want to worry about finances and so many other things such as home court advantage, the chances there will be siblings in the league, and there's even an option to up the fatality rate and you can imagine what that's like, so I'll move on. And before I end things, I should talk about the dev, Dumb Matter. As I said before, the game is completely free and he wants to keep it like that. He hates freemium games like the gachas I spend the not good amount of money on, and he wants to keep it that way. Sure you could donate, which if you want to support the game, is a good way to do that. But I wouldn't worry about a paid version. Even still, Dumb Matter continues to update very often. Uh, he's often in the subreddit I mentioned earlier where he posts updates and such and of course there's a community waiting to see them. I know there were like leagues where people were competing against each other in a, a, a league, and that's pretty cool. So maybe you're not the biggest basketball fan. Luckily there's also baseball GM and football GM so you can get your fix there. I mean, you can't do any worse than the Texas GM right now. What in the world is going on over there? This is a game I spent a lot of hours on and it never really gets old. It doesn't take much to get started so you should really try it out if you had the chance. I'll put all three down in the description so you can easily get there. Of course, it may not be for everyone and there's always NBA 2K bucks for some VC. <sighs> uh, that's, the, that's the best I got. Alright, I'm done now. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe because it does mean a lot. And comment down below if you have any stories yourself. But before you start hitting threes from the social distance line, have a good day.